Let's go over this example. It says the data in the table below shows the average temperature in northern latitudes. So it's giving us the latitude and the temperatures. So they want us to come up with a line of best fit and then to answer some questions using that. So the first thing before you enter this in your graphing calculator, you need to decide what is your x, what is your independent variable, and what is your y, what is your dependent variable. Now when you're given data in a table like this, it might clue you in um, that the one that is kind of counting in a pattern, this 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, those are your x variables. They're just picking different x variables and substituting it in to come up with our temperatures, it looks like. Also, you want to think, what is affecting the other thing? So it's the latitude that is affecting the temperature. The latitude is what determines that temperature. So the temperature is the dependent variable, is the y. So I'm going to enter this in on my graphing calculator with this as my x and this as my y. So let's head over to desmos.com to do that. So when I go to Desmos, I have a previous one here that I've already done. So I'm just going to x out of these and get started again. So to enter in the data, I'm going to put it in as a table. So I say plus there to add a new table. And then I'm just going to go through and enter in this data. So I'm going to pause the recording while I do that. So after I've entered in all of my data here, then I can click the plus again to add a new expression. And here I'm going to tell the graphing calculator what to do. And I want it to run the regression and I want um, it to put it in slope intercept form. So I'm going to write y1 squiggly line m x1 plus b. So it's going to tell me what the slope is and what the y intercept is. So here you see it. Um, and if I zoom out a little bit or a lot, you can see those points, the green points that I plotted here on my table. And this blue line is my line of best fit. So what this is showing me is that the slope is negative 1.07. I'm just going to round that and write that down. And my y-intercept, B, is 92.9. Excuse me. Then my regression, my correlation coefficient is right here, r. So r equals negative not or 0.9693. So it's pretty close to negative one, and it's negative. So it has a strong negative correlation. So let's go back here and take this information to fill this in. So here, what my line of best fit would be, I'm just going to write y equals mx plus b, but the slope m was negative 1.07, and my b, my y-intercept is 92.9. So that is my equation. It says, what, does the correlation co what is the correlation coefficient? It was negative point nine six nine three and it tells me that there is a strong negative correlation between the latitude and the temperature okay now it says estimate the average temperature for a city with a latitude of 48 degrees. So remember, the latitude was the x, and the temperature was our y. So it's basically telling me, what is y if x equals 48? So I'm going to substitute that into this equation. So negative 1.07 times 48 instead of x, plus 92.9.
So remember with order of operations, you always multiply first. So negative 1.07 times 48 is 51.36. And then when you add, you see that the temperature is 41.54. And since it's temperature, I'm going to put degrees and it's Looks like it is Fahrenheit. So that is my answer.